Hey, this is Moshe Kasher. And Natasha Legero. We just got married six months ago. Which we think pretty much makes us qualified to give love advice to strangers. So that's what we did. We packed up the car, hit the road, and spread the love. This, this is, is the, the Honeymoon, honeymoon Tour. tour. That's the same person that's been raising her hand my whole set who I've been purposely ignoring. Wait, well, whoa, 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 whoa. this probably won't go well. I'm warning you right now. Here, oh, oh, hold. Thank you, thank you. Come here, come here. Oh, you're not wearing shoes, so this is definitely a good old Vegas white girl night. All right. Do you have a, a problem with your love life that you actually need help with, or do you just want to say hi? My love life, yeah, but I probably should be cool. Okay, cool. Thank you for coming up. Appreciate it. I will tell you, it's, a, it's just... Okay, honey, let's give it up. What's your name? My name is Gretchen, and you're so awesome. Oh, Gretchen. Gretchen. Okay, I got it. Change your name. You'll find love. Next. So, Mosh, I'm looking at this hotel in Amsterdam. Do you care that it looks like a Hilton Garden Inn when you're in the middle of Amsterdam? Yeah, no, I don't. It's free, right? It's yeah. Like, it's not like it's a piss-in-the-sink hotel. It's like a no, nice No, it's hotel. clean. It's just, it's not charming. I'm just saying you're, you're basic. That's a nice hotel room. What do you want it to be, a, the bed in a wooden shoe? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I mean, you're in Amsterdam. And then you're like, uh, can I have my Stouffer's microwave <laughs> grilled cheese? Or, you, you think... know, there's a microwave in there. There's like a slip mat on the bathtub. There's, Wait, what do you want in the bathtub? There's fluorescent lighting. You want to like sink your feet into like a, a four inch thick layer of beluga caviar in the bathtub? No, I just want something that feels like we're in Amsterdam and not Acheron. <laughs> <laughs> Acheron? <laughs> I was trying to make it the same story. No, I, I respected what you did. For me, it's like that's a perfectly nice hotel and it's free and we should just stay there and save our money and spend it on going to dope restaurants and maybe even that thing that we talked about maybe doing in Amsterdam. That you said that if I behaved myself and cleaned up that you would be down to. What's that? The thing that we talked about about Amsterdam. A prostitute? I don't like calling them that. We didn't talk about that. I was, I meant to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying, if we get to stay in this shitty hotel I don't want to stay in, that that we can finally get a prostitute for can, the relationship? We can <laughs> save our money. And then we can, she can sleep in that bed. <laughs> what's your name? Uh, my name is Lacey. Hi, Lacey. That's cute. And what's, uh, what's your name? Dave. Lacey, Lacey and Dave. Lacey and Dave. How long have you guys been dating? Uh, three and a half years? Four years? Four years. Four years and are you married? No. No. Okay. okay. So and how old are you guys? I'm 30. I'm 23. She's 23 and you've been together four years. That's what's up, dog. Damn. Hell yeah, bro. You gotta get them when they're a young lady. I mean, we've been together for four years and I talk about marriage and he doesn't want to talk about it. Wait a minute. Dude, you're, you're like, you robbed the cradle and then you're like, uh, I don't think we should complete building the cradle. I think... <laughs> You're the guy that got her all young and she, she spent her whole adult life with you. It, it, it's really not about me. It's, she's 23. You think eventually she's gonna look over at you and be like, dude, you're old as fuck. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Gretchen, where are you? Let's party. <laughs> she's been waiting. How many male comics do you know who have a baby who are touring? 400? How, how many female comics do you know with a baby who are touring? Uh, zero. <laughs> zero. Not one. Because the male comics are like sitting at home and then all of a sudden it's like, wah, wah, wah. And they're like, hello, I'll take it. <laughs> Peace. And then they call in. They're like, hey, babe, how's it going? <laughs> go, 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 go. Party. Uh... Party. When the woman is pregnant, you have to put the like bag balm on her uh, on her belly. The what? Like bag balm. Bag balm. Don't you get uh, that like udder cream and you put it on her belly so that she doesn't get stretch marks? Or she can do that herself. Honestly, though, in a, in a real talk, if you get stretch marks during the like pregnancy, boom, I'm out. 
divorce. What makes you think that this is the man you want to marry? Like, you have so much... Like, when I was 23, I, I was, like, living in Australia with a con artist. Like, I... It takes so long to figure out your life. Like, what makes you think this is the man you want to spend the rest of your life with? We've lived together for, like, three years, and everything is going well so far, so why not? What Lacey's saying that makes sense is... If, if they were to get married, it would make her think, okay, this is, now I can kind of see my future, this is what's going to be happening. But the fact that he doesn't want to get married is making her feel like, oh, I'm insecure, I don't know what's going to happen. I just want him to talk about it. He doesn't even want to talk about marriage. Well, there's no better place to talk about it than here at the beauty bar in front of 200 drunk strangers. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Yeah. <laughs> By the way, you're 30, what do you want from life? Just to be a professional kid, that's... Oh. He wants to be a professional Lacey. kid. Run, run. I mean, Vegas is just so everything I, I can't handle. All it, all it needs is rats. <laughs> then I would be like, That's not. Like a, that'd be like, your perfect storm. Completely unable to be here. Dave, you don't have to commit to marrying her, but you have to commit to going to couples counseling with her to talk about marriage. Do they have therapists in Las Vegas? <laughs> None. There's no therapist in Las Vegas. Are you into therapy? Would you do that? Uh, if there were any good therapists in Vegas, then yeah. There's okay, would you be open to talking about it? Maybe even just a couple sessions? I Two sessions. really would do anything for her. Like, oh, Dave. Who cares how old someone is? It doesn't always matter. It's not like everything goes in a certain way and then she's Oh, Dave, I like Dave. Yeah. Hey, you get out of here with your judgment. Dave, 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 Dave. Really, there's no, there's no rules here. Try to live beyond rules in your life for once, you know? And I just, think that's true. Dave, and you're maybe thinking Gretchen about it too much. Gretchen allows you to be an eternal kid in a way and maybe you need what she has to offer. You've been dating Lacey since she was literally a kid and it's time for you <laughs> the perpetual kid to, you know, to talk about it. You don't have to commit to doing it, but you have to commit to talking about it. Deal? Absolutely. Deal. We okay, got to, we did it. Okay, okay. 